Thanks. Um, wow, what a week. We go from uh, 80 degrees in Las Vegas, 75 in Dallas, and we see a foot of snow here. Um, first of all, on the men's side, um, it, I think it's always difficult when you come out of the out of the uh, winter and you go to uh, uh, play a course that uh, they play on the PGA Tour. Um, the TPC Las Colinas course is uh, it's a tour caliber course, and uh, you know the PGA Tour doesn't have much trouble with it. And I think our kids find out how close they are to the PGA Tour when they get to play a course like that. Uh, but to watch uh, Sam DeBartolo play the way he did, uh, coming out of the snow, shooting uh, 75, 75, 72, uh, really shows me quite a bit with Sam. Um, Sam was first team All Conference last year, and uh, He's uh, he's still trying to prove it again this year, and um, we got some nice rounds out of some different people. Um, uh, Dayton Federley's uh, coming along. He just became eligible in the, in the uh, uh, spring here, and uh, Dayton's going to be a tremendous player for us. Um, and uh, uh, with Marshall Lamb and Jared Rowe going. Um, uh, we like where our team is headed. Uh, Marshall had a chance at Missouri State to really get a low one. and uh, They teed off, and it was 40 degrees and light, messy rain. And uh, eight holes into it, uh, Marshall's five under par. So um, he had a chance to really, really go low and ended up shooting 68 that first round. And um, I think he said it best is that, uh, he didn't realize how exhausted he would be uh, getting that many under par that early and trying to, to. I thought he should try and go lower, but he was just trying to hang on. Uh, but a 68 on that golf course is uh, quite a tribute to Marshall, and um, we just we keep getting good rounds. Uh, we haven't put them together yet. Um, it, it's nice to see um, Sam started out with 81 on the at. Uh, uh, Missouri State and then came back with two nice rounds and uh, he just got off to a bad start and boy it's a difficult golf course once you get uh, behind the eight ball there. Um, so uh, we head to uh, hopefully we're going to head to normal Illinois this weekend uh, play Saturday and Sunday over there. Uh, I don't know how much snow they got or if they even got snow but uh, hopefully we're going to be able to play. It's We know it's going to be cold and uh, but like Jake said, we need to get rounds in, and we're not getting many in right here. So uh, hopefully that'll be uh, something that we get a, a chance to participate in this weekend. Uh, as far as the women go, um, wow, what a week. Um, Maddie Birch hadn't had a top ten in her career, uh, has three of them on the spring break. Um, just unbelievable. That 68, that last round at uh, at Vegas was that was something to to watch for. Uh, uh, and I tell everybody the story. She had three wood in her hand on three of the par fives, and she knocked it on all three greens. And uh, I stood on the par fives because it's so difficult around the greens. Uh, I didn't want them uh, taking some chances that they probably shouldn't take. And um, she stood right up there and knocked it on all three of them. Two putted all three greens for. Uh, birdie, uh, 68 that last round. Uh, I'm telling you, that was unbelievable round. Um, and then coming back in St. George, uh, she shot two two nice rounds there. Uh, and then again uh, in Dallas, uh, where uh, uh, she got some help at the end. Um, Paige Van Dyke with a 72 that last round. Uh, the first two rounds, super super windy. Uh, the first day was over 30 miles an hour winds, and uh, uh, the second day was not quite as bad, but it was pretty close. And then the last day we got uh, nice conditions, and for her to shoot 72, um, and, and the kids know that uh, uh, that the last holes are the important ones uh, once they get in position, and for her to finish birdie par birdie on uh, three pretty good holes uh, was pretty impressive to me. And um, when we go down the list um, with her shooting 72 the last round, and, and granted we had a 15-shot lead going into the last round, uh, but this is a team that hadn't been there. And uh, to come out and shoot 299 and, and have the uh, uh, low round of the tournament uh, the last day when we were in the lead was pretty impressive to me. Um, and 
I'll be honest with you, it was the upperclassmen that came through uh, with Paige shooting 72 and Maddie having 74 and Sarah McMichael having 74. So uh, I like where we're at. Uh, we played a lot of golf. Um, unfortunately, we're not able to play now. Uh, but hopefully uh, that will carry on so that we're uh, we're ready to go. We're supposed to go to Peoria this weekend. We leave on Thursday for a practice round, and then we're supposed to play Friday and Saturday. Hopefully that happens because uh, we really – we really need to get some rounds in before the conference championship. Um, so we go to Peoria this weekend, and then uh, uh, the following weekend we're in uh, Terre Haute uh, right before the conference championship. So uh, I like where this team's at, and hopefully we keep going in the right direction. Anybody get any questions? Thanks.